as a finisher was almost a paradigm shift or he created his own paradigm shift because he was able to blend together significant power as a batsman with quick hands and agility and athleticism and speed between the wickets so he created such a headache for opposition captains bowlers and fielding units because he was able to hit the ball over the infield over the boundary into gaps but he was also able to run and run hard and push his partners when the boundaries weren't there and that is a troubling balance for any fielding unit he's finished with the six again and has done it captain cool there's just one stat that tells it all. Played almost all his life at five and six. Now, when you play at five and six, you don't always look at your average. Dhoni's average of 50 plus is ridiculous. But at five and six, there's a few not out. It can boost. It won't take you to 50, but 50 is an awesome average. But look at the number of runs he made. 10,000 plus runs batting at that position. India's traditionally been a top three side, right? I mean, you, you see now Rohit, Shikhar, Virat, top three winning you games. Otherwise, there's it's almost like there's no circuit breaker at, behind them. But for someone to come in at five and six and uh, oh, score 10,000 runs, his batting average in games that India won, 100 plus. And that is why the game was never over till MS Dhoni was done with, with the chase. And I think that is just an incredible and that's just an incredible record. It's a smash and that will find the fence in no time. MS Dhoni is up and running. If I'm looking at MS Dhoni as a one day player, he really is your perfect package, the genuine all rounder. What a finisher. He's probably one of the best finishers the game has seen. And this is really reflected with his calmness under pressure. You know, all good finishers. I look back in history, Michael Bevins of the world, who was renowned for his brilliant ability to finish game in the 90s. But really beyond that, it's MS Dhoni that's owned that finishing role. And he's done it because he's been able to calculate the finishing role perfectly. He's understood what's required. He's worked out in advance how to approach and dismantle his op opposition. He's been in some pivotal partnerships as well, which has been so important in India's success in ODI cricket. <laughs> That's huge, absolutely huge. I think what personified him was his calmness. You know, whether it was captaining the side, which can be very stressful, particularly in India with all the pressure that's on you. He always just seemed to be so calm, so calculated, didn't allow his emotions to get away from him. And, and that probably made him a fantastic finisher in the one day arena as well. Um, he didn't let the situation get to him. Yeah, he might have got it wrong every once in a while, but by the fact that he was so calm, he took it right down to the end. He always backed his ability. And probably eight to nine times out of ten, it paid off, and uh, he was able to take himself and the team over the line. That's hit very well by MS Dhoni. He always said, if it came to a pressure situation, I always backed myself. And as, as a fan, you were just sitting there thinking, is he, is he intentionally creating a pressure system so that he's playing to his strength and creating more pressure on the opposition? It was almost like you're taking a penalty in football. When you run up to take a penalty, who is the pressure on? Is the pressure on the taker or is the pressure on the goalkeeper? If you've got 20 to chase in the last two overs, 15 of the last over, the pressure's on the bowler to defend that. And he says, there, I think I've got my chance. So I think as, as a chaser, uh, with his extraordinary ability to play the field, extraordinary ability to hit the big shot when he wanted, uh, he was he was uh, he was fantastic. Dhoni finishes off in style. India lift the World Cup after 28 years. The parties start in the dressing room. I remember talking to Rahul Dravid once when he was just a young man. When Dhoni was a young man, he said, "Why don't you bat him at three? He just destroys attacks." He said, "Because no one finishes like him," and that was to be his hallmark.